Project a little bit. I can project, project a little bit. Oh, he's yeah. walking in so that he can catch the footage. Like, alright, <laughs> that's what it is. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This your girl A Dot Dizza, aka the General. Get it right, ladies and gentlemen. We are live from the Elegant Hoodness Miami Musical Program Weekend Birthday Weekend Extravaganza for AD. This is our sixth annual event at the Hotel Chelsea. We are currently at an undisclosed location because you can't know where we are. Just know that we are definitely on this beautiful beach. We're definitely sitting behind this palm tree. Definitely and, here. And we're definitely <laughs> kicking it. I am kicking it with my uh, producer, winner of the year in Miami. Um, his name is McFly. To the people at home in New York, all over the country, say what's up. What up, New York? How you doing? You see, I'm representing for y'all right here. You know what I'm saying? I go by Young McFly. You can follow me at all. Any social network media, at Young McFly, spelled correctly. I went to school, so. So McFly, um, you were at the event for the first time uh, in Miami. Um, you were judged by the lovely L'Oreal. What's up, L'Oreal? Put your L's up. OTL, uh, Blondie C. She's a native that actually knows you and invited you to the event. So shout out to Blondie for bringing you to the Elegant Hoodness. And of course, uh, DJ Tyreek, local DJ from the area. How was your first time? You know, your, your experience for the first time in Elegant Hoodness. Well, coming in, I didn't really didn't know what to expect. You know, you go on South Beach and. A lot of the events on South Beach are kind of bougie and stuck up a little bit. So when I finally got there and I seen everybody laid back and the, the environment and the energy was just amazing. I, just, I already knew what time it was. It was on and popping, ready for this hip-hop shit. You know? <laughs> That's what's up. So you do production. Let's talk a little about uh, about the production that you have already done. I know you've produced something for Joe Button. Yeah. I produced a song called Anti on Escape Route uh, EP that came out. Um, he performs it on YouTube. You can see him performing at SOBs and all the major clubs in New York, uh, around the country. Um, I did production for Black Rob on his last project. You know, um, I did production on uh, Pitbull's El Mariel album. Uh, helped out on the intro on that. Um, did some stuff for Iceberg from down here in Miami. Did some stuff for Jay Nix. Watch out for Jay Nix. He's down here in Miami doing some ma major things. Um, he's actually on that Smokers Club tour. I'm going to go around. Cool. Um, did some stuff for, uh, oh, yeah, Cash is Green out in uh, California. Oh, what's up, Cash is Green? Yeah, you know okay. Cash is Green? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the All homie. Right. Yeah, I, I produced two tracks on this last uh, project that just dropped. Cool. So, you know, that's definitely UTV, Better Mill. You know? That's yeah. what it is. So you got a little resume going. You know, um, hopefully you'll be producing for the lovely L'Oreal. She has to redo her mixtape, you know what I'm saying? So she has a, a new project that she's working on, so hopefully we'll be able to connect you with that. Now, uh, like, when's the first time you realized that production is something that you wanted to do? Well, growing up, I always listened to, like, well, now that I'm older I, and look back at what I was listening to, it was happened to be classic, classic hip-hop records. And what really stuck to me were the beats in the hip-hop records. So, like, Reasonable Doubt was one thing that I used to listen to all the time. And the lyrics... When I first was listening to it, I didn't really understand everything Jay was talking about. Right, a lot I'm of still, people say that. Yeah, I'm yeah. still listening to Reasonable Doubt and catching on things, you know what I'm saying? But one thing that always stuck was that production. And I was just like, wow. So growing up, growing up, listening like to... like you're a Just Blaze fan. I'm, I'm definitely a Just Blaze fan. I'm a DJ Premier fan. I'm a Ninth Wonder fan. I'm a huge Kanye fan. Uh, huge Alchemist fan. Um, pretty much... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the lineup right there. That's pretty much, that's, yeah. that's your top five <laughs> That's right my there. top five right now. Yeah, Who are your top five uh, MCs of all time? MCs of all time? Jay's definitely has the number one spot solidified. Gotta get Biggie his, gotta get Pac his. Um, I'm gonna go with, man, this is a tough question. I'm gonna go with Rakim, and I'm gonna go with Andre 3000. Woo. You gotta get somebody from the south. Some, uh, okay, okay, oh, okay. Man. Never I was, had a whack verse. I, I was gonna say there's nobody from Miami that you think Not belongs yet. in that top five yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Look out for Young McFly though. So, so what do you, so what do you, so what do you think an artist from Miami has to do in order to get into that conversation of top five, top ten, top anything? Start making classic, heartfelt music. Not everything for the club. One thing about Miami is that 
it's a party party town so first type of music you're gonna get is party music strip club music music for uh you go to club live you know what i'm saying something just to move and shake your ass and you have a bunch of beautiful ladies out here that just like to twerk you know <laughs> so most of the time you're gonna get that party music shout out to uncle luke for originating all that you know what i'm saying but also there's another side of all of that also and we need to tap into that just a little bit more once we start tapping into that the lyrics are already there but the music has to match everything the music and the time do you know of a local, a local artist in miami that actually does music that reflects maybe the other side of Miami, the side that people don't see on TV. Because, you know, the Kardashians come out here, shout out to the Kardashians, and then all you see is glitz and glamour, you know, uh, even Maybach music, you know, Rick Ross and all the videos and Pitbull and all those people, you see the glamour life. But I'm sure that life might not be as glamorous and, you know, where the homies uh, in Opalaka or, you it's know. Not, it's not the same. Like, we were just talking earlier. There's people out in Opalaka and some of the hoods out here in Miami that's never even seen what the beach looks like out here. And they stay nothing but 10, 15 minutes away from the beach. So there's some people out here. Um, Iceberg is one dude that's really, he's a young dude coming up. And he, he he's tapping into the streets. He has a nice little following up and down uh, through the south. Uh, I call it the, the little boosie uh, route. Um Jay Nix is another one. He's more of a soulful artist, but he's still tapping into that also. He's not really making party music like that, but he he's making hits though. And check out for him. He's on a lot of the blogs. Um and there's another guy named Webbs also who's really tapping into that. He's making more like that Jay kind of vibe. Jay meets the South, meets Miami type of thing. What do you use when you're constructing a beat? Are you using like old school MP3s or are you using like Fruity Loops or? Um, well, I have a collection of vinyl that probably outweighs most DJs that you'll ever meet in your life at my house. So I started off, I started off learning on Fruity Loops. Then went for Fruity Loops. I was like, I can't do everything I need to do on this. Um, so I went and bought an MPC. And then my vinyl collection started growing from there. And then from there, I bought a Motif. Then you know, computers started going in the way. So right now I'm using Reason and Logic uh, to make my beats and a bunch of records and vinyls. And I have MP3, I digitally dig, as well as going okay. to my vinyls. What's going on. So do you play any instruments or? Um, I don't play like you sit me down and I can just Alicia Keys the situation, you know what I'm saying? But I can hear something and I can play stuff out, you know what I'm saying? So that works just as well. That's what it is. So are there any artists currently that you are aspiring to possibly work on the next project? Um, like anybody? I mean, yeah. I'm going to say Jay-Z, of course. I, mean, <laughs> okay. I always aspire. I make all my beats aspire to be on at least one Jay-Z album in my life. I need a Rockefeller chain. So, <laughs> <I got>. so, <laughs> Alright. Um, but besides that, um, I'm, I'm supposed to be on Black Rob's new project that's coming out. Um, I would like to be on a Rick Ross uh, project. Um, I have a bunch of beats actually that are nice and fitted for him and his style. Uh, I would like to get on some Wiz Khalifa stuff. Um, I would also, you know, pretty much any of the, the, the top tier that are making that that real music. I'm and, any R and B production yet? Is that something that you'd like to pursue, or is, or is it all just hip hop? Um, I actually am working with the R and B singer Angeli Stars that's out here in Miami. She's also a rapper that you should add to that list that's making hard soul music. Um, she is. Freaking dope, dope, dope. She plays piano, she sings, she raps. Um, and me and her got a bunch of songs in the works. That are supposed to be coming out, so. Awesome, awesome. So I also know that uh, you, you do your ones and twos behind the mic, mm -hmm. right? I've been known to have a bar or two. You've been known to have a bar or two. Well, let me get a bar or two. A bar or two. <laughs> Alright. It's that 9 6 act flow. Back dope. Piss a nigga off. Let the Mac blow. Dope quotes, track coat. Never been lactose, flocko, chilling with on the island de la Marcos, with my 12 apostles, visions you say impossible, I'm possibly Socrates and astucity, my philosophy, like astronomy, astrology, try follow me, silent me, and not only chronically, leave me wild and there's no denying, I'm still the same, leave your daughter crying, pops hate me. <laughs> <laughs> That's, what so. That's what it is. So, where can we actually listen, or like, what do you do with your beats? Are you currently selling your beats? They're on SoundCloud. Anybody can get down with you? Like, how does that work with you? Uh, not anybody can get down. Not yeah. anybody. Nah. So your shit whack. Like, yeah. how, how do you, how do you, I, I know how you decide whether or not you work with a major. How do you decide if you work with an independent artist? First things first is the grind and hustle. You can't just tell me that you're going to, you want to do a song, you don't have any money, 
and you don't put me on, and you don't have any type of buzz or anything like that. That's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, get your grind up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? If you have a buzz in your city, I will definitely work with you. No problem, because... I'm an independent on the come up as well, you know what I'm saying? So how can I not work with you on the come up in our own city? You have to work to be able to get to a bigger goal, you know, in life. So A, your grind. B, your lyrics got to be there. You got to have some type of metaphors. You got to be telling me something that's worthwhile besides what your chain and watch look like, and how many girls you got in the club, and how many bottles that you didn't pop. Because I don't need that. We like real stuff, you know what I'm saying? If you're really doing it, by all means, please talk about it. If you're not doing it, tell your story and get there. Let your story progress. Because what are you going to do when you get on and you have all that stuff? You're going to keep talking about the same stuff you were talking about when you were broke? You're going to run out after a minute with lyrics. Nice. I don't hear producers talk about stuff like that very often. Um, so, you didn't answer the question. <laughs> we, 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 need, we need to know where they connect. Can they hear your beat somewhere? Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. You can check me out on SoundCloud.com uh, slash Young McFly. I have a bunch of my production up there that I've done, or actually songs that I've done. I don't have any of my beats up there because I really don't want people stealing my beats. It's okay. really kind of easy to okay. steal stuff from the internet now. So. All right, cool. But if you, call, if you call me or hit me on my uh, uh, Twitter at youngmcfly.com, I mean, at youngmcfly, or Facebook or Instagram, or just shoot me a shout-out, you can work something, I can play some beats, and we can grind from there. Where, were, where will you be? Young McFly in a year from now. A year from now? Um, I hope to be... That's a good question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not a long time, you know what I'm saying? It's not, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it is, but it isn't. Yeah. I, Eno en enough, to, enough to reach a goal. It is definitely enough to reach a goal. I'd like to have a couple more major placements under my belt that's not mixtape placements, like real album placements. Um, all my placements so far have been real album placements. I haven't had too many mixtape placement besides uh, independent people. Um, and I would also like to get my music, my, my raps out there a little bit more. Uh, have people listen to actually what I'm saying besides just thinking I'm a producer rapper because I actually started rapping before I produced but I needed beats to rap on and a lot of beats that I wanted to rap on people weren't making so I had to go ahead and make them myself. I mean, you know, Kanye, uh, Pharrell, mm -hmm. um, you know, Jermaine Dupri, uh, Pete Diddy himself, uh, Eminem started making his own beats, I mean, you know, I wish I could too, you know, we'll see, it could be one of the things that I aspire to do in the next year, I don't know, we'll takes see. Takes a lot of patience. A <laughs> takes lot a lot of patience. of patience. Okay, so, um, let's see, what else can we talk about? Um, how did you actually um, enjoy some of the local artists you saw uh, at the event? Was there anybody that popped out? Um, Skip of We Loose, who was also in the... Uh, producer battle. He has some pretty dope beats. And then uh, Class Money, um, it's my first time actually meeting him, but I've heard his music before. And he's uh, actually pretty dope also. And then there was there was one group, it was a, it was a group of two, mm -hmm. and the dude had a blue shirt on. He was kind of short, and they did that over oh, the Tribe Called Class. already certified danger yeah. over there in Philadelphia. Yeah, they're pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie. I was jamming to them. That's what's up. So check this out. We're gonna bring you back to Hotel Chelsea, and you're gonna see the boy, Young McFly, doing his thing live to show you how he beat all the competition. Don't be mad! He is now nominated for the Most Emerging Producer at the Elegant Hoodness 2014 Awards in New York City. My name is A.D. The General, and this is... Young McFly. And we flyin', bitches! <laughs>